Now another age problem. Basahin muna natin ito. The present age of the father is doubled of the age of his son. The age of the son after 10, year, 10, 10 years is equal to the age of the father before 15 years. How old is his son? At ito ay sinisend sa isa sa ating mga followers sa FB page na ito. Sabi niya, marami, marami kasi itong sinisend niya. Tapos, good morning po ma'am. Paano po yung number 20, uh, 37? So, itong number 37, yan yung age problem. So, ito na yun siya. So, isa-isahin natin to. Mag-table method lang tayo para mas klaro sa inyo. So, meron tayong father. Tapos, meron tayong son. The present age of the father. So, meron tayong present. The present age of the father is double of the age of, the, of his son. So, let n para sa edad ni son at present. Kapag sinabing double of the age of his son, yan yung father. So, double daw, that means 2 times N. Next. If the age of the son after 10 years. So this is after 10 years. The age of the son after 10 years, that will be N plus 10. Now this is equal to the age of the father before 15 years. So, before 15 years, that is 2n minus 15. So, nandito lang yung equation natin. The age of the, of the son after 10 years, ito na yun. Kasi ito yung present age ni son. So, after 10 years, yan na yung n plus 10 is equal to, so, equal yan. Next. The age of the father before 15 years. Ito yung age ni father at present. Before 15 years, that means minus 15. So, ito na yung equation para makuha natin yung n natin. Yan yung variable, yung value ni n dito. Next, ipagsama natin yung mga like terms. Itong minus 15. Since pang minus siya, kapag matransfer pang add na siya sa 10. So, 10 plus 15. Now, i-keep natin si 2n dito. Now, ito namang isa, si n. Since positive yan siya, kapag matransfer na man, ay pang minus naman siya sa kabila. Now, we have 2n minus n and this is n na lang. Again, lahat ng mga coefficient na wala na lahat ng mga variables na wala na kasulat na coefficient, automatic 1 na coefficient dyan. So, that means 2n minus n, n na lang siya. 10 plus two, uh, 15 and this is 25. Now, ang tanong dito, how old is the sun? Diba, let n para sa Idad ni San. Ang value ni N dito ay 25. So, therefore, ito na yung sagot. 25. Ma'am, paano tayo makakasiguro na yung 25 ay tama? So, ngayon, i-double check natin. Si father, tapos si son, at present, 25 si son. Okay. 10 years... Ito, ito yung present natin. After 10 years, so 25 plus 10, this is 35. Si father at present ay double of the age of his son. So, 25 times 2 and that is 50. Yan yung doble sa 25. Now, 15 years ago, that means... 
50 minus 15, 15 years ago, and that is 35. Diba? Ang edad ni son in 10 years ay equal sa edad ni father 15 years ago. So, kung pariho naman yung 35, therefore, yung sagot nating 25 ay tama. If the age of the son after 10 years is equal to the age of the father before 15 years, after 10 years, yan yung edad ni son. 15 years ago, yan naman yung edad ni father. Equal yan sila. Pariho yung 35. Therefore, ang tamang sagot, ang sagot nating 25 years old si son ay tama. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.